Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to password protect your PDFs. This is really useful when you want to give it that extra layer of protection. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. Okay, this is our Job Form dashboard. The first thing that we're going to do is create a smart PDF, just in case you haven't created one already. Let's go into create a form. We're going to go import form, and we're going to import a PDF form. So in this case, we're going to select one of the files that we have already. Let's upload the PDF form. In this case, we'll upload a real, really simple PDF form. Let me open this. Let's let JotForm work its magic. Okay, it just grabbed the fields from the PDF. This is the actual PDF, and here's the fields it grabbed already. The only thing we're going to do right now is, is add the email. So let's add the email field right here. And let's go ahead and map it. Let's bring it down here at the end and we'll just leave it like that. Like I said, this is just a demo PDF. Next thing we're going to have to do is head on over to settings and we're going to have enabled these two options. So make sure these two are enabled for enable the original PDF attachment in autoresponder and notification email. Once these two are enabled, we're going to head on over to emails and we're going to head on over to autoresponder in case it doesn't create the autoresponder automatically. Let's just go ahead and add a new email. So let's go edit the autoresponder. Click on the pencil and we're going to head on over to advanced options just in case everything's fine here with the email content. And now let's head on over to advanced and we're going to enable PDF attachment. So let's click on on and we're going to say the original PDF with form submission data. So that's what we want to attach and we're going to enable PDF password. This is where we're going to set our password. It is strongly suggested that you add a strong password. But in this case, just for demo purposes, I'll just put test as the password. Okay. Don't forget to save the data. Okay. We're good to go. Now it's saved and let's go ahead and test it. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab. Let's start filling and let's just add for demo purposes, some random data. Let's just say test one, test two, test three and the email where we're going to receive our PDF attachment that's password protected. Let's go ahead and submit. And now we should look out for that email. Let's go into our email inbox. Okay. Here's the email we just received with the PDF attached. And you can see right here that Gmail is telling us that this is an encrypt encrypted attachment. All right. So let's go ahead and download it. Let's save it. Let's open it and just like it's supposed to, it won't open unless we use a password. Remember we set the password as the test. That's a, the word that we use. So let's add test right here and submit. And there we go. Now we're able to open it. And basically that is how you password protect your smart PDF using JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.